Hey guys, this is Casey from Jetty USA here, and today I'm going to show you a few options um, regarding your throttle lock, throttle cut, and throttle idle functions on your Jetty transmitter. So the first thing I want to show you is going to be the throttle lock. What this allows you to do is it holds your throttle in the current position, but it deactivates the stick. So if you go into your main menu, you see this throttle lock button right here. If you hit that, you can no longer adjust your throttle by moving the stick. So if I go into servo, servo monitor, you can see here that it will not work. Now if I go back and I hit it again and I unlock it, if I go into the servo monitor, you can see that the throttle works perfectly fine. So um, that's the throttle lock option. The next thing is the throttle cut option. What this allows you to do is it allows you to set a switch that'll bring your throttle to a preset value. Um, this is great when, when you fly like a gas engine. It's used to fully close your throttle, which will allow your engine to shut off. It's also great if you're using elect electric motors because you can immediately shut down your motor. So the way you program this is you go to your menu, go down to advanced properties, and then other model options. So from here, I'm going to assign the throttle cut switch, and I'm going to assign it my SF switch, but I wanna make sure it's in the down. So when I move it down, it's active. And I'm going to keep my output value at negative 100. So the minute I hit that switch, it'll take my throttle down to negative 100%. Um, and I will show you that in the servo monitor here. So right now, my throttle's working as normal. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that throttle cut, and it's gonna bring it right down to negative 100%. And my stick will not move it whatsoever. When I remove that switch, now I can use my throttle like normal. The last option that I want to show you is going to be the throttle idle. This allows you to assign a new bottom value to your stick position. So when I go to my menu, I go into advanced properties, and I can go um, into other model options and scroll down right underneath throttle cut, and I can go ahead and I can change the throttle idle switch. Another cool thing about throttle cut, real quick, is we offer a safety locking switch, which I would suggest because not only does it electronically lock your throttle, but you actually have to physically lift this switch up to move it in position. I cannot just pull it down to move it. Um, with, now back to the throttle idle. When I set the switch, I'm gonna set that same switch, but I'm gonna set it to the up position. So now my throttle idle will be activated when I flip it up. And you can again use the safety locking switch here and you'd have to physically pull it up. The idle offset I'm going to set to 20%. So this will give me 20% of my normal value. So it should take it to negative 80% instead of negative 100 when my throttle stick is down. So I'll show you this by going into the servo monitor. And I will, when I don't have it activated, I get to negative 100. When I flip the throttle idle, you can see my bottom position is now negative 81. Um, the 1% just has to do with the simple calibration in the sticks, but that's an easy fix if you calibrate it. Um, when I return it back to normal, now I go back down to negative 100. If you guys have any questions about anything you saw in this programming or about the switches, please contact us at jettyusa.com. You can get all our contact information off that website. Thanks for watching and see you next week.